Hello everyone, I'm Diablo from GMIC and today I'm gonna play Half-Life 2 Roleplay in order to make a review and I will try to compare the multiplayer roleplay of Half-Life 2 with the Gothic multiplayer roleplay. This is my house, I must say that these kinds of servers uh, here on Garry's Mod are very very realistic and complex in their mechanics. Uh, I skipped the part uh, of the lore because I expect uh, that you already know the story of uh, Half-Life 2 so at the beginning of the, the game um, you start as a citizen and you basically can't do shit like you know running, jumping, crouching, shouting because are considered anti-citizens um, anti-citizen behavior punishable by uh, civil protection in fact, here um, the officers are uh, very brutal, like you know, cold machines. Uh, you you don't want to mess with them because uh, at the beginning you your stats uh, are very um, are very low. Uh, the civil protection also treats you like shit, uh, literally. And uh, I asked, uh, for example, I asked. An officer some directions since I'm new in town he have to beat the shit out of me because I talk to him so uh, the officers in patrol also they keep an eye on you all the time and you uh, have a uh, heavy sense of oppression and control you know that kind of feeling and and I like that uh, there's also there are also scanners flying around the city that you know uh, monitorize all your movements and uh, this because there are some parts of the map that are off limits unless you join a faction but I um, about I'll talk about that later you know if you transmit <coughs> if you uh, trespass some uh, forbidden areas or if you violate some laws, no matter how insignificant. However, civil protection will be will be you to the ground. You know, it would uh, it would take you uh, to jail for uh, you know reprogram your education through machinery and some stuff. Speaking of citizens, well, you can't trust them either. Okay, first all the citizens must you know stick together in order to survive, but you can't completely trust the citizens because if they if they see you breaking some laws, I mean there is a possibility that they are going to report this to civil protection. So be aware of of the citizens. Uh, this is the kind of atmosphere that you know that I like. It it reminds me of the old days, uh, Gothic multiplayer when I played in the colony. There's also a realistic element on this server in particular uh, that I love when I where for example when you approach to a person, the game doesn't tell you who he is. Instead, you can read his physical appearance, and it says. Uh, you don't recognize him. That's realistic. I mean, you actually don't know that person and you are not supposed to know his name unless he tells you and in which case uh, the name will appear on the on uh, you know uh, will appear to you next to his description. That's realistic. I like it. And also you must keep an eye on your uh, character if he goes hungry, injured and so on. In the end, it's kind of like a the sims in Half-Life 2 world but it's more complicated than that there are so many micromanagement in this game mode uh, that uh, at the beginning uh, at the beginning they look confusing and there's no tutorial that help you with that if you want some guides uh, you need to go to the server forum in order to learn something about the server mechanics the big difference between Half-Life 2 and, and the Gothic multiplayer is that here in Half-Life 2 there are no quests supporting your ranking up. Um, you actually have a single job to do and if you are very productive then you will get some privileges like the loyalist trait 
that allows you to to have uh, uh, very specific private apartments and some comforts and some additional uh, rations and that's it civil protection will continue to beat you to, to the ground if you are a, if you are a dick uh, as a citizen they only um, the only job that you can do is uh, the worker in the food factory uh, in the server in particular uh, they don't pay you that much but that's because you have to join a faction the faction system depends on the server in this server uh, there are the civil protection, the overwatch, the civil workers, uh, the medics, the scientists, uh, the administrator and etc. In order to join a faction you always have to go to the forum and apply to one of the factions. Uh, there is a module to compile and uh, in this server it's very complicated because you must answer to some questions and trust me it's not a piece of cake. Uh, once you join a faction, uh, you are admitted to, to enter some parts of the map. I mean, the parts of the map restricted to your faction, of course. For example, I joined a scientist. This allowed me to enter the scientist base and work there, but I'm not allowed to enter the administrator office or any other structures besides my faction base. Once you rank up by unlocking the opportunity to flag uh, up, then you have, uh, you will have some privileges, uh, and other parts of the map will unlock until you become an administrator. But as far as I know, this is how I figure it out. But I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. But I'm still at the beginning, so. I, ju I just talk to people and uh, they give me they give me some informations and uh, so this is how I figure out s so far and that's it uh, this is Half-Life 2 roleplay with Diablo from a GMSC and we will see you next time